These are five tips I'm going to recommend to you when you're going to be editing audio. So these are tips I learned from my engineer and also co-producers. The first one is avoid clipping. So if for the people who don't know what clipping is, it basically means that the gain is way too high or the volume from your project. And that's why it's causing these red peaks at the very top right. If I play this back, these are actually going into the red way, way too much. So how you can fix that is you want to take your slider on the left, your volume slider, and you want to drag that one to minus six decibels just like that and now it won't be clipping anymore if i play it back as you can see it stays nice in the green there's nothing peeking out too much so that's a very very useful tip and even if you're going to record audio on top of a licked song you can even go ahead and you know record it at minus six decibel that's crucial if you don't want to get clipping so the next tip i'm going to give you guys is use compression so for the people who don't know what compression is it is used to compress a sound's dynamic range so let's pretend that it is unleveled so it's to make the louder and the quieter parts of the sound's performance closer to each other in level so in vegas pro you can just apply a compressor which i'll show you guys in a minute you can also use downward compression and that basically adjusts the signal when it gets too loud we want to click on this effects chain button on the or track effects on the left and then you want to actually uncheck them all and you want to make sure that you will only use your track compressor depending on like how loud your parts are we can actually start using for example compression starting at minus nine decibels so let's play it back and let's see what that sounds like Okay, but as you notice right here, it actually goes into the red and that's something that we don't want. So we want to pick a little more than nine decibels. So let's go for 18 and let's see if that makes it stay out of the red. So it is just on the edge of the orange one at some points, but at the top one, it still goes in the red. So let's switch this one to 15 decibels and let's see if that does anything good. It doesn't. So I think we have to crank this up all the way up to minus 24. So let's play it back this way. And as you can see at the very top, it goes in the red sometimes but not like the entire song but you can also limit the levels to minus six decibel which is the heart limiter and then you can also set the threshold so if you put this one a lot higher the input gain is not going to be a lot louder so let's put this one to 9.0 so let's listen to it right now That's a really quick trick that you can implement into your audio editing since it will actually level out all the loud and the quiet parts to a more even sound. Oh, and guys, by the way, if you would like to license this very song that I'm showing you guys these tips on or many different other songs, you can go to the link down in the description that will bring you straight to the website where you can license this specific song and many other ones for just a fraction of the price what these major record labels would charge you. Make sure to click on the link down in the description, of course, when the video is over all right so the next tip i'm going to give you guys is panning tracks so for the people that don't know what that means if you look in vegas pro we have one track that right here is centered so what i also learned from my engineer is that you can have like a much wider and a lot and opens up the space more if you do this duplicate this song and we're going to just hold left control and drag this one down so now we have two tracks so now they're stereo and they're going to be way too loud because they're all in one channel but if you pan for example the top track to the the very left and the bottom track to the very right you will actually separate the sounds and if i play this back on solo it will only play through my left speaker and if i solo the bottom one it will only play through my right speaker now there's a really really famous mixer and engineer tom lord algae he makes a master like many records from blink 182 to avril lavigne so he's like one of the biggest guys out there and he also recommends that you make a third track so i duplicate this one where you will have this one centered as well so that's what he actually recommends to have one on the left one on the right and also one in the center and lower the center track just a little bit otherwise it's going to be a little bit too overpowering but panning your tracks can actually make a lot of an impact because you're not adding some sort of like a stereo expander onto it so that's why you can just pan your tracks that way so the next tip is actually going to be pretty pretty simple using music from the licked website of course there are tons and tons of songs you can find on there for just a fraction of the price because 
because recently I wanted to use a song that is not on the Licked website yet. So I reached out to one of the labels. I asked permission to use a copyrighted song that's owned by Universal Music Group. And they're probably going to charge me hundreds, if not thousands of dollars just to be able to use 30 seconds out of their song. You can get your licensed song for just a fraction of the price. It's not going to cost a lot. It's so affordable. And the song that I'm using right now today is also a track you can find on the website. Okay, so the last tip I'm going to give you guys is folder management, because if you're going to be editing music, you'll probably be adding sound effects and all kinds of things such as EQing and all different presets you want to externally save. So having a good folder structure is actually pretty crucial because of course, we all know that when we're editing video or audio, we might end up having two three, or three new versions an hour later, and then we'll save them all as new projects onto our desktop. And then after two or three days, our entire desktop is filled with projects and different versions. Just go ahead and create a folder, make the first one with all the raw unedited files, and then create subfolders with like changes you made, create a sound effects folder where you keep all your sounds, your booms, your risers in there, and just make sure to also rank them by date. So you know when you download them, when you use them, and these are five tips you guys can use for audio editing. All right, guys, so these are the five must know tips if you wanna start editing audio in Vegas Pro. Now, if you would like to see more tutorials about editing audio, whether it is in Premiere Pro, if it's Audition, if it's Vegas Pro, make sure to subscribe to the Licked YouTube channel. Make sure to go to the Licked website for your licensed tracks. The link is down below, and I'll see you guys, of course, in the next video.